Okay, so now this time we will um, reflect a shape over a pair of um, perpendicular lines. And we have line K, which is a vertical line, and line H, which is a horizontal line. And we can see that they are perpendicular to each other. Um, we have this quadrilateral that we would like to reflect over line, line K first and then eventually reflect it over H. Okay, so let's start. The concept is generally the same. Uh, we want to find the vertical distance, which is the shortest distance from the line to your point, to each of the vertices. Okay, all right, so let's start with uh, point E. Point E is two units away from line K, so therefore your reflection will be two units on the other side of line K. And so that will be here, okay? And so we would like to uh, label that one right away. Okay, so line E, uh, point E over line K. Okay, that will be E prime. Now let's move on to um, vertex G, and that is one unit away from... Uh, line K and so therefore it will be on the other side it's also one unit to the right of line K and that would be this and let's label that as well okay okay I don't need that All right so let us reflect point G on line K all right there we go Okay, next point is point H, that is 1, 2, 3 units to the left, therefore the reflection will be 3 units from line K to the right, 1, 2, 3, and that would be in 2, 0. Let us label that point, that would be this point here, alright, that's H prime. Okay, lastly we have uh, vertex F, which is one two three units from k therefore the reflection would be four three units to the right one two three that would be this point here and we will label that one again okay it did not get labeled let's try again all right there we go Okay, and let's connect the points. We have E to F to H to G and back to E. And let's change the color. All right, so our first our first image is the blue green color. This is our pre-image, and this is the first image. And now we will reflect the. Uh, image over line N, same concept. Let's get the distance, vertical distance from uh, the line, uh, each point from the from line N. Okay, let's start with H prime, and this is one unit above, so therefore the reflection would be one unit below. And that would be this point here, right? All right. Uh, F prime is one, two, three, four units above. So therefore, the reflection would be four units below. One, two, three, four. Um, might run out, out of space here. So I need to move this a little bit up. Okay. All right, so let's try again. One, two, three, four. Okay, this will be your F double prime. Uh, point G is 1, 2, 3, 3 units above, so therefore the reflection will be 3 units below, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, that will be your G prime. And lastly we have E, uh, that would be, need a little bit more space, E is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 units above, so this will be 1, 2, three four five okay and now let's label the whole thing this will be your okay there we go let's move this so we can read it g 
all right and of course we can change the color so you can differentiate it from the other ones all right okay so this is your pre-image uh, the primes are your first image and your last image this is the final image that you needed after reflecting over a vertical line okay there you go